Phoenix has the highest inflation rate of any major city in the country. Housing prices are up 17 percent from the previous year. And you can see the fallout of that just right behind me here. This is called the zone. It is the largest homeless encampment in the city of Phoenix. And the situation has gotten so dire that local businesses are now suing the city over it. Debbie Falacci, who owns the old station sub shop with her husband, Joe, is one of them. I don't know what we're going to come across in the morning. Um, someone sleeping, someone passed out, uh, tents, um, urination, defecation, uh, violence. So it's been very, very difficult. Now, the zone stretches for several blocks downtown. The lawsuit alleges that mental illness runs rampant, along with drugs and crime. The Republican candidate for governor, Carrie Lake, is taking a tough love strategy. She says it's get treatment or get moving. Meanwhile, the Democrat, Katie Hobbs, is calling for more affordable housing and a $200 million investment in the trust fund for the homeless. Joe Falacci says he's just trying to protect his life's investment. I'm a sandwich maker. I'm not a politician. I'm not a lawyer. All I know is this is not fair. Now, the city has filed to dismiss this lawsuit, but it did tell us that it's committed to working with the businesses involved on a solution. Guys. Elon, you touched on it briefly, but just to dig in a little bit deeper here, what are the proposals specifically that are in play to help not only the people, but also the businesses? Yeah, so I talked to the lawyer involved in this case, and he said that some of the ideas they suggested are a more structured tent encampment as well as more temporary structures. He said they're not trying to send anybody to jail or get anyone arrested, but they want this declared a public nuisance because, as you can imagine, uh, this also feeds into voters' concerns about drugs and about crimes, both of which will play heavily into next week's midterm elections.